I um, did my first painting, when I, uh, oil painting, when I was 11. And so then I so it was always kind of there. I was drawing even before that, of course. But um, there came a time through my teen years and, and into college where I had to fight it out with the Lord that I, it would be his work, not mine, or that whether he wanted me to do it at all. And so I think maybe just to lay a foundation in our talk today, I have to have to say that my identity is not in my art. Uh, my identity is in Christ. I'm, a, I'm his child. I'm a, I, I like to say that I'm a man that has been befriended by God. And it's true. And it's not something I've done. It's, it's, his, it's his doing. So, um, uh, therefore, my art is my vocation. It's something he's called me to do. And therefore, I, since it's his calling, then I can give it all I've got. Otherwise, it would be kind of um, trying to do something that I, oh, I, this is who I really am, but Lord, now I guess I can do some of your stuff too. And I think that's uh, kind of a losing battle. And did you start painting nudes while you were at Asbury? No. Okay. I, and I, I don't think it would have occurred to me. Okay. Because I don't, it's not, it's not to shock anybody in that way or to have been too much in your face. Even when I stopped teaching, if we had stayed in Wilmore, I do not know if I could have done it. It would have occurred to me to even do it. It was being out of that environment where no one would care that all of a sudden I could entertain the possibilities of okay. following through that, the impact of that show on my work. Okay, so when does, when, okay, this starts occurring to you after seeing the show, mm -hmm. and then you start doing this. Yes. And uh, does this become controversial immediately? No, uh, not because I was, I was in a secular situation at the okay. time. It's showing it uh, in, uh, in a more, in a religious context. Mm -hmm. And, of course, dealing with the religious subject matter, too, that it seems to be the controversy. Um, because I think that, uh, that I'm interested in the figure. I'm not interested in clothes. It's also, uh, there, there's several other, there are several other reasons, but I think that the, the body is the only common denominator of human, humanity. It's the only common denominator. Because if there's no body, uh, uh, if there, there is no, if not a person there, then there's no body there. We use it in our language. It's nobody. So I, I think that, uh, that you, you take it from that point and, and, you, and you have to go and move from that point. So we are certainly not disembodied intellects. No. I mean, God could have made us that way. He could have. He gave us bodies. He gave us bodies, and I think, for a reason, and the bodies we're going to be stuck with for, for eternity because we, do, uh, we believe in the resurrection of the body, not just Christ's body. He was the first but all of us will have a resurrection of the body. And I find that very intriguing. I find it very intriguing. But um, so I, I, I'm dealing with some of those ideas as I'm, I'm the, the importance of the body. Also, in a perverse way, I want to shove it in the, in the world's face and say, you think we Christians are, you think that we are prudish, but we can't handle it. I said, no, I can show you everything. And I'm sorry, uh, now let's get down to the real point. <laughs> we don't have to, I mean, we, uh, we, we don't have to be, afraid. we're not afraid of the body, we're not, uh, and in fact, you think you've done something when you show the body, I say no, it's just a natural part of the life, and I go from there. Also, there's the, the idea of the incarnation itself, which is uh, Christ uh, being pictured uh, nude, I think, is because when he came, he came exactly as we are. He's not some neutered being. He came as a man in full, in full in flesh. And if we 
fudge on that point, I'm afraid we get really into, we get really into trouble. And so I guess I'm just trying to pin it down in that, in that way. Okay, so there's, there's the nude, and then there's kind of, uh, you know, gnarly, unpleasant nudes. Yes, yes. Uh, why that? Well, I just, uh, again, I think that um, we have to be realistic about the world before we can redeem the world. And if we try to clean up the world too much, then the redemption doesn't mean very much either. So I would like, I, I well, I try to just paint what the painting demands. And that means that in all of its, its ramifications, and sometimes it demands that kind of figure. And you mentioned that, um, I think in one of these interviews, uh, in a sense that um, looking at the nude, I mean, God actually, in a sense, makes us, I mean, he strips us of all our pretenses. Yes. And so this is an important part of yes. our, self, our, our revelation about ourselves. Because I think in our society, we, ne we don't, and part of the controversy grows out of this too, we never confront the nude. We, uh, we only confront it in two ways. There may be a few others, but only two ways really, and that's in the art museum with the whole history out of which I'm working and in pornography. And therefore, um, we, uh, we, have to, uh, we have to deal uh, with people who are not used to seeing the nude at all. And so I, and, and in doing so, and placing this, particularly these large nudes in a, in a gallery situation where people have to come to it and hopefully be alone with it, then they have to consider their own physicality, their own body in a different way than they would other, any other time because they, we're not forced to contemplate our bodies in, in, our, in our society. We don't have a good theolo theology of the body, I think. Uh, John Paul was trying to work with that, and there's some people that are working out of some of his statements. Mm -hmm.